welcome to a new vlog. If you're new to the channel, I'm Sarah, and the other half of Dalton Disney is Jeff. And right now we are on the Disney Magic. This is our second day on the cruise, and we are really looking forward to today. We are just about getting to Castaway Key, which is gonna be Disney's private island. So it's just for cruise guests, and we're gonna relax. We're gonna hopefully do a snorkeling adventure with stingrays. We will share that all with you. Um, right now, we just ordered some room service for breakfast. Um, we actually put in our order last night. Um, so that will be delivered here in a second. I'll show you that. Room service is free, um, so you can just get it delivered. You can also go to like a sit-down dining or upstairs. We just picked it because it's a little bit quicker. Um, but we can't wait to share the whole day with you guys. It's time for another adventure. Here's just a view of Castaway. We finally just pulled in and docked. Um, so we have a good view of the island from here. We're just gonna head down now and disembark in a minute and go explore the island. We are all ready for Castaway. So we're just about to go disembark. Um, with getting off on the island, there is a queue that opens at 7.30 that you can join um, to be able to get a slot to basically get off. It's really easy right now. Like you can pretty much get up and join and get off the ship. Um, it starts at 8.30. It'll just assign you time. Because we're doing a port adventure today, we didn't need an assigned time. We can just get off um, straight away. So we're heading there now. The port adventure we're doing is gonna be a stingray encounter. So we've never done it before. Really looking forward to doing it. When you get off the ship, there are shuttles or you can um, walk over. So a bunch of options, but it's a very easy walk. That's usually what we prefer. We just went to check in for the stingray encounter and unfortunately because of the high winds um, they're not able to do the feeding the stingrays right now which is the part I was most looking forward to. They are saying that you can still snorkel with them um, but we again really wanted to do the feeding so they said we can try back at a later time so we're going to check back at one. Fingers crossed that maybe then we can do the full experience um, but if not uh, hopefully always a future cruise so we'll keep you posted on that. For now since we're here bright and early we're going to enjoy an empty beach. So Mickey is right here, but I think we're going to get to meet Minnie. Hi Minnie, how are you? It's a beautiful day. Yes, and with the ship, I love it. It looks so nice, and I love your beach attire. You look very nice. So fun. So it's definitely a bummer that we did get up early and off the ship to go to the Stingray Encounter. We were really excited to give that one a try. Unfortunately, it didn't work out with the winds, but it might later on, as Sarah mentioned. The benefit, though, is we are out here bright and early on the beach, and if you can see behind me, it is completely empty. There's maybe 100 people on this beach, which easily fits what looks like thousands. There is nobody within 20 feet of us in any of the seats, and we're going to have a good morning, just kind of relaxing, maybe going in the water, swimming, getting a drink and just kind of hanging out until lunch later on today. First up, we're going to go on the water slide. We've never done this before. It's located on one of the family beaches and there's two different slides. Oh. All right, here we go. <laughs> it is so cold out here right now, but we're gonna head on to the water slide. Fun. So there's the closed slide and the open slide. Um, I would recommend it. I, I can't believe we didn't do this before. It's really fun. Next up, we're going to do some snorkeling. So we brought our own stuff with us, um, but you also can use or rent it. Um, from Disney if you want. So we just have it, so we bring it with us. But again, if you want to rent it, um, I think you can. I think it's around like $35, if I remember right, for the snorkel, the vest, and fins. The fins. With the snorkeling, there's a bunch of different Disney characters that are going to be, um, or be able to be found. It's a decent swim out um, though, so definitely recommend for slightly stronger swimmers. And the current was really strong for us today, but you can get some good views of the ship. And again, it's fun kind of swimming around and finding everything.
snorkeling was a big workout. So the, it's really windy, so the current was strong. So we worked up quite an appetite. We are now heading to lunch at Cookies. This is gonna be over in the family area. It's a barbecue buffet style. You can get as much as you want. Um, so it's going to be perfect. And then afterwards, we'll maybe get some desserts there and maybe grab ice cream after. For lunch, there's barbecue, we got hot dogs, chicken, ribs, potato salad, macaroni salad, uh, cornbread, cookies, fruit, and Powerade. We are gonna grab ice cream now. Lunch is done and then go explore a bit more. So excited. It is so good. So it's perfect. They had um, the strawberry, banana, chocolate, vanilla, and you could get them twist as well. So, perfect little treat. We just stopped in one of the shops here on Castaway and they have a whole bunch of really fun t-shirts. This lounge buy is really cute, it is $75. There's also a bunch of really fun castaway shirts, so I really like a bunch of these. If you want some like buckets to build sand castles, these ones here are $20, so if you just wanna buy them, don't have to worry about bringing them. They also have like little Mickey shovels over there. We are just about to go swim with the stingrays. So this is an extra like excursion. We booked it ahead of the cruise. It's $59 per adult and it's an hour long experience. We just did our little like safety briefing. So I'll share some of the facts that they told us before we head into the water. Um, but we're gonna be doing Southern stingrays, which there's a bunch behind me. I'll show you that afterwards. Um, so this will be the one furthest at the end. And then they can get up to six feet wide. So they can get really, really big. I think they said their biggest one right now is four feet, um, but really excited and um, again this is one that you might want to book ahead of time it was canceled on our last cruise because of wind so we are really really excited to be able to do this now We just finished up with a stingray encounter and I was a little unsure when we started whether or not I'd enjoy it, but it was a ton of fun. It's really cool feeding the stingrays on that little, I guess, board that they come swim up onto. You put your hand down flat with some food in it and they'll just swim right over and kind of like vacuum it out of your hand. So we did that. We each had probably like three or four opportunities to feed them. And after that, we went and swam with the stingrays. We kind of just floated around in this lagoon area where there's, I think they said something like 50 of them. So there's a ton of them floating around. You can pet them if you want on their fins. It was a really fun experience. I think all in all, we were maybe 45 minutes or so. We could stay longer. Some people are still doing it. We just kind of got our fill, but I would definitely recommend doing this if you're looking for something fun to do here on Castaway Key. It was a real fun time. back to the ship. We had an amazing day at Castaway. I'm so glad we got to do the Stingray adventure. That was really fun, but now we're back. We're showered and we are going to go, I believe, head to Bingo first before heading to dinner at Lumiere's, which is going to be a completely new restaurant for us. So um, that's uh, different from the dream. We are really excited for the rest of the night. You guys look amazing. Love the outfits. <laughs> Looks so good. <laughs> do you want to pick we just made it into Fathoms, which is gonna be where bingo is happening. I played this once on a prior cruise and it was so fun, so I'm really looking forward to doing it again. We each just got a Bay Breeze, so this is gonna be the drink, um, like the daily special for today, so got it before bingo. 
The daily special drink is only $6. For this bingo, um, Tina and I each got uh, six like chances basically for each round. So there's gonna be four rounds to win money. Um, the two sets of six chances um, were $20 each, so $40 total. Um, there are other ones you can play for as little as $10 um, if you want. And then there's also like iPads that basically keep track of a bunch of games if you want that as well. But we're excited, hopefully we win some. Where's the bingo? Happy. 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 Megan, we just have one lucky winner this time. Tell us, what is their name and where are they from? It starts all the way from the exotic Florida. Ooh. 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 from Florida. Wow. How's the jet lag doing? You're good? <laughs> it's tough. It's, it's tough. Well, Tom, this is not so tough. You are walking away today with $326. We had a really fun time at Bingo. Um, unfortunately, we didn't win, but it was still a really good time. Again, you do um, pay to play, but you can win cash prizes. So it's fun. Now we're gonna head to dinner at Rapunzel's Royal Table. We just made it into Rapunzel's Royal Table, so um, Lumiere's is gonna be in a couple nights, so I switched those up earlier when I talked about it, but the theming in here is amazing. So there's the lanterns everywhere, the table has all of the little like, suns, so this is one of my favorite ones, I think, already. Even without the food, I love it, um, and the feel in here. So um, we are gonna just order our food, we'll share that all with you. Oh, we can't have a birthday without a birthday girl. Right, uh, so please, please help me welcome. and Jeff went with, it's a charcuterie board um, that's uh, named after the Snuggly Duckling. I actually went with a ramen with tofu as like my first course, um, which technically is an entree, but they said they could do appetizer portion for it. Uh, we'll give them a try, let you guys know how they are, but so far, loving this restaurant. Both of our appetizers were really good, and now we're on to our main course. So Jeff got a Flynn Rider entree, which is gonna have a bunch of different types of pork. And then I did a pasta, which is supposed to look like Rapunzel's hair, so it's like an angel hair. This typically comes with scallops, but I didn't want any on mine, um, just because I don't eat seafood much, but they look delicious, we'll let you know how they are. good. I especially loved the angel hair pasta. It was perfect with the pesto sauce. For dessert, we were sharing three of them. So we did a birthday cupcake sundae, and they had that kind of theme because the restaurant's celebrating Rapunzel's birthday today. Um, there's a sweet uh, bread that's in there, like a frying pan like Rapunzel has. That's her kind of defense. And then there's a tower, a chocolate tower. So again, we'll give them all a, a try and let you know how they are. We just finished up at Rapunzel's. The food was awesome. The atmosphere and the show were also great. We really are loving the food options here on The Magic. They've been great, our servers are awesome, and we're looking forward to tomorrow night. We're actually back here again, but it's gonna be Marvel themed, so it's gonna be a new experience. Overall though, so far dining has been a ton of fun.
that is going to do it for us today, but it was a really fun time. We had an amazing time on Castaway. Tomorrow is going to be our Marvel Day at Sea, so we're going to go get a good night's sleep. So we're all rested to do a whole bunch of Marvel stuff on the ship tomorrow. Thank you all so much for following along with us, and we can't wait to share the next day and our next adventure with you.